Yep, Nick Nitro Elliott back again. The month of March, I had uh, quite a few tournaments. Ended up taking first place in my club tournament, second place in the California Bass Federation Region 6 tournament, and then a 12th in the Wild West um, Bass Trail SoCal Team Series. Uh, underlying theme, drop shot did most of the damage. In fact, all the damage um, for these tournaments, um, starting with the club tournament in which I took first place. Um, the main um, color worm I use, of course, there it is. The old Oscar Charlie, orange crusher. Yep. I ended up just sitting in between two points, hit the spot lock, which it's my first time actually having spot lock on for the eight hours. It was it was amazing. I was worried I was gonna run out of battery juice because I just never did it. I didn't know how much or how much power having a spot lock on um, would use, but I was fine. Um, throughout the day, I did uh, crank up the big motor just in case, but only let it run for like two minutes and then I cut it back off. And the main thing I was doing was just uh, I throw to one point uh, and once. I stopped getting fish or I didn't get a bite, I throw it to the other point and then pick up there and I just alternated the whole the whole time. Uh, it was pretty amazing. In fact, one of the points had a stick up or bush uh, and only had like two branches but they were coming out of water and every time I would throw near there I got bit. Which is amazing because it was only maybe two feet deep and if I catch one, catch two, maybe three fish. There shouldn't be more, but they just kept going up there. There was something, for whatever reason, the fish liked and loved, and they just kept kept going to that bush. So uh, I milked it for all it's worth. Caught fish there all day, and like I said, if I didn't, I just threw back to the to the other point. So that was it in a nutshell. I did sprinkle in a little Neko rig with this color worm right here. It's what I call Green Pumpkin Parties, basically green pumpkin with a little purple and green flake in it so, as for the tournament I took second place on that was at uh, El Cap my first place finish was at Lake Sutherland so back to the El Cap through the the Neko rig that was that caught a lot of my fish as for uh, the size but I kicked things off once again with that drop shot and that old Oscar Charlie, that orange crusher, and I caught my first three fish with that, and then I started throwing that Neko rig shallow, and I got a few bigger bites, and sometimes I even got them to bite it on the surface, and what I mean by that, cast a little too far, got it caught up either in a bush or actually landed it on the shore, and as I pulled it into the water, there was just a swirl and I knew the fish had it and I set the hook and got him. So that was pretty cool. Caught a lot of fish that day. Um, spot lock didn't use too much. I just let the, the wind push the boat and I was just throwing shallow in and, and picking the fish apart. I saw that they were uh, basically facing facing the shore. That's all I can say. The closer you got to shore and, and, and pull the worm or the drop shot back into the deeper water, you got bit so that was pretty cool mm. as for the wild west bass trail team series i went and tried to catch them fancy through the whopper plopper through a spinner bait through some few other reaction baits but i saw fish on beds and tied on what i refer to as my two inch drop shot and i used my uh special drop shot bait say special because they work for me and they don't make them anymore so I will not be showing you what they are um, but I'm pretty sure everyone has their own thing uh, let it let it be known it is not a white bait I don't do that I try to be as natural as possible so no white baits or pink baits when I'm fishing uh, for those fish that are on the beds but caught a lot of fish that day Help from my partner, he caught our biggest fish of the day. 
it's only about 2.7 pounds so like i said we had a, a good day caught a lot of fish just we couldn't get the bigger the bigger bites and we finished with around uh, 12 pounds or so so a lot of fun um, looking forward to the next month here kicking it off um, this weekend got another club tournament it's going to be at lake murray and then from there got a federation tournament and then at the end of april yes i'm going to be kicking it off with that toyota series and another wild west bass trail tournament so stay tuned for the updates tight lines everyone bye